thank you very much for the opportunity to be here. And my takeaway is that I hope that with this collaboration with everybody, all of mm -hmm. citizens um, understanding the problem of antimicrobial resistance, that we will be able to advance and we'll be able to ensure that there are tools in the toolkit so that everyone can get the therapy that they need, whether it's chemotherapy for cancer, the care of their premature baby, or a joint replacement. Um, and I think working together, we can do that. Kevin, what's your takeaway? I, I'm pretty hopeful for the whole sector. The science is really astonishingly good in terms of the new things that are coming in, into the preclinical pipeline. Governments and foundations with lots of money, like the Wellcome Trust and the, and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, are very engaged. So that people are listening. People who need to be listening are listening. And, uh, and we have an opportunity. You know, the broad outlines of how we can fix this are well known. Um, you know, convincing uh, you know governments to actually take that next step and to find a different way to pay for these products uh, is the is the next thing that has to happen. Lori, what about you? What's your takeaway message? Yeah, so I actually will echo uh, what Helen just mentioned. And I heard a Swedish proverb last week, many little streams make a mighty river. And, and I think it goes back to the fact that every single individual has a role to play in tackling this problem. And we all can help to improve how we're using antibiotics, whether you're a patient, a physician, a veterinarian, or an industry leader. Uh, we also want to just acknowledge that there are a lot of uh, materials and resources available out there for anyone who's more interested in this topic and wants to kind of educate their friends or family members or approach their physician with um, information. And so we have a website, um, it, it's based upon the Be Antibiotics Aware campaign and you can find that information on the <coughs> CDC website. Uh, we also have an observance in, uh, in, in November, it's November 18th through 24th. It's a worldwide observance in collaboration with many, many different countries. And this is also a nice opportunity. If you have a message you want to share about this particular topic, feel free to get on uh, social media and share your thoughts and opinions and about this issue and what you're doing to make a difference. Your takeaway. Thanks. Well, I'm a researcher and a, and a public health person, and I think I agree with all of these points and the need to, to work from many directions. The direction that we're trying to work from that I think requires a lot of efforts from a lot of kinds of people is really quantifying what is the burden, doing the surveillance in the places where it's hard to do, reporting that surveillance appropriately um, and in a meaningful way, and developing quantitative tools to be able to give good answers to, if you have to use an antibiotic, which one is better? It's really not always clear. Um, and so there are a number of scientific questions that can <coughs> help. They're not gonna, and no one is gonna solve the problem altogether, but, but it, trying to get the science better uh, is a huge piece of the puzzle.